Welcome to Kauffman Stadium, home of the Kansas City Royals. The Kansas City Royals are a Major League Baseball team in Kansas City, Missouri, and they play in the American League in the Central Division. Today we're going to learn about the history of the Royals, the best players to play for the Royals, and their current 2022 team. According to MLB.com, our timeline starts in 1968. At the time, the Royals were not a team yet, and the Kansas City Athletics were the ball club in Kansas City. After the 1967 season, the A's left for Oakland, leaving no team in Kansas City. The Royals began play in 1969. <coughs> they finished their inaugural season with a 69-93 and 93 record. They wouldn't put up their first winning season until 1971. In 1973, the Royals moved to a brand new stadium named Royal Stadium. It included water fountains and a 10-story support board. The Royals, in 1975, the Royals won their first of three consecutive division titles, losing all three years in the American League Championship Series to the New York Yankees. In 1980, World, the Royals would hire Jim Frey as manager, which set them up for their first trip to the World Series, where they would lose to the Philadelphia Phillies in a seven-game series, 4-3. to three. The Royals would not make a comeback until 1985, when they would face the St. Louis Cardinals in the World Series. The Royals would win the series four to three in seven games and celebrate their first World Series title. The 90s were tough for the Royals with some of their greatest players retiring. <clears throat> they moved from the AL West to AL Central. They did see the development of players like Mike Sweeney in the 1999 rookie of the year, Carlos Beltran. The early 2000s saw players like Mike Sweeney, Carlos Beltran, and future Hall of Famer Zach Greinke begin their careers. From 2007 to 2009, the Royal Stadium went under a remodel. It included improved water fountains, a restaurant in the right field, and had a bigger and interactive Hall of Fame in left field. The stadium was also renamed to Kauffman Stadium in 1993. In 2010, saw rookies take over and develop. The Royals won the American League in 2014 and lost to the Giants in seven games in the World Series. The very next season, the Royals went back to the World Series and beat the Mets in five games, and celebrated their first title since 1985. The, the very next season, the Royals finished with an 81-81 and record and just missed the playoffs. According to the National Sports Gallery, from 1970s to right now, the, some of the best players have been playing for the Royals. Those players include George Brett, who had a career total of 317 home runs and a 20-exclusive year career with the Royals. He had a total of 3,154 hits, it was inducted in the Cooperstown Hall of Fame in 1999. Brett Saberhack is, is considered to be the best pitcher in the Royals history. Pitching in Kansas City for eight years, his best season came in 1989, where he had a 23-6 record. And in two years, and in two of those eight years, he won two Cy Young Awards. Alex Gordon is considered to be the best fielder in Royals history. A failed third baseman turned left fielder saw Alex Gordon win eight gold gloves in a 14-year career from 2007 to 2020. Salvador Perez is the only player on the team who's still active from their 2015 World Series. He made his big league debut in 2011, and he's currently playing today. His best season came in 2021, where he had 48 home runs. And he has a career total of 223 career home runs. The current Kansas City Royals finished the 2022 season on October 5th with a 65-97 and record and last in the American League Central. They fired their manager after six straight losing seasons, and they also fired their pitching coach after a terrible bullpen, I guess. The crack of the bat won't be heard in Kansas City until next March, but there's much to look forward to in Kansas City next baseball season.